Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Retroactive Gamers. Yes. Continuing our Let's Play of Outer Wilds. Bitch. A strange rock moved around the grotto appears to react in conscious observation. Level-headed amongst us will realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. But Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until observed, whatever that means. Uh, whatever's actually happening, both sides of the debate agree. It's extremely creepy. Hmm. Ah, do, 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 do. I want to touch your butthole. <laughs> touch mine. I'm ready. <laughs> it's disappeared. Where is it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, sounds like ours generate light by fusing. Uh, wow, we're getting a science lesson here. Mm. Uh, as it grows older, the sun runs out of oxygen. Hydrogen begins to contract. Then it becomes a red giant. It gets hotter and hotter. Expands. It becomes a red giant. <laughs> And then guess what? It does a few things. It starts to fuse helium into carbon. Then it comes into a supernova. <laughs> yes. Eventually it'll collapse. A supernova. <laughs> and guess what? It can also cause a black hole. <laughs> God help us when the day comes that Earth sun just fucking goes into mm -hmm. a, a red giant. Because I can tell you it's going to be real hot here. <laughs> <laughs> this crystal is taken from a no my ruin on Brittle Hollow. Seems to be a local gravity distortion and it most likely cause traverse the steep surfaces to dry down. Oh! <laughs> Breaks his neck. <laughs> oh. The now made technology. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, you don't like Naomi? <laughs> My deep respect for this game is disagreeing with your the now will be buying. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, what's that? You don't like when something, you know, sounds like that? And you're just gonna keep doing it? Oh, well, I know what to say now. This is now Naomi instead of no my. <laughs> uh, decorated pottery. Some ancient Naomi art. <laughs> so just can't be found. Whether the Naomi originated elsewhere. So. You, don't, you don't have to fear me. You have to fear the... Uh the giant follower base of this game crushing down your doorstep and raping you. Naomi. Hmm. <laughs> it's Naomi. But what does it say? I don't know. Didn't care. <laughs> what do you mean, don't care? This is a narrative game! You can't yeah. not care for this shit. Really writing for He looks and I have. We already read all this stuff before. That's why I don't care. No, we, no, we didn't. No, in the other. We're playing this for the first <laughs> time. <laughs> The other locked like atmosphere. Calibration is simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Hi, bitch. We're going up. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> now, me. You are here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, the hourglass twins. Yes, I remember that one. And then we're going to have more planets that'll come into mm -hmm. observation later. Uh -huh. Alright, where's our boy? Oh, there you are. Go ahead. There you are. I just finished the pre-flight observations, and the local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And uh, you'll be our first astronaut to will be ever equipped with the Know My Translator translate. tool. <laughs> with the Know My Translator tool, I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better, uh, we're better equipped uh, than... Blah, blah. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My... <laughs> of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I'm just gonna wing it. Uh, playing to follow the footsteps of Feldspar and the uh, and the great Outer Wilds Ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see, you can't put all the translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. See if you can't. <laughs> oh yeah, see if you can't. <laughs> you can put it, put it back. See, well, <laughs> see, you can't be trusted. Gotta take it back. <laughs> Give me that shit. <laughs> Until you're ready to call it Nomai, you don't get the fucking translator. <laughs> but the now <Naomi. laughs> Well, it looks like uh, all that's left is to send you off. And uh, 
and an all fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not for, well. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before a launch? At any rate, here's the launch co launch codes. Mm. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are uh, every bit as safe as the slate could be persuaded to make them. Mm. Oh, best of luck there. Let me know if you can. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Mm. <laughs> Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first, I thought the points of light were image, but the, uh, uh, of this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers a tiny patch in the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. It's fucking big. <laughs> I think I need to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> boop 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 boop. Hey, look! <gasps> Martha Goat, go! I'm Batman! <laughs> Gaze into my third eye. Gaze into my chocolate eye. <laughs> Later, you will take some. <laughs> Thank you for saving my memories. I'll get out of here. Pidgey? Okay. Even then, all my hate you. <laughs> mm. Hey. Ooh. Hey, did you get a good look at that Naomi statue? <laughs> I fucking love that. Uh, hey, did you get a good look at that Naomi statue? That's better. Statue looked at me and opened its eyes. <laughs> wow, wow, the statue was doing what? So it closes his eyes, and then it's time to your memory to go flat, flat around. You be like a hallucination. Get off the LSD. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back the launch codes. Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? You know what? Don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit. Take it easy. I'd hate to see anything bad happen if you try to launch while you're not feeling great. Uh, but hey, when you're ready, you can make the most of your translator tool. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's all grown up and leaving for space already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's for real. Oh, I'm glad to see the one carrot is not like Ryback. They fall on it for sure. <laughs> oh, say, if you want to do a short wow. trip in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Just get your face like you can check out the ruins on Adderlock and I'd <laughs> love to see you learn new things what they are. Good luck, fly safe, and let me know if you see any no buy. Bring back some cocaine. Oh, oh my fucking no! Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, you broken knees! <laughs> Doesn't matter anyway. Oh, it, that's the entire memory. It's just, <laughs> it's just you <laughs> die bobbing off of the... <laughs> hey, look at that. And this that was, is the same thing that happened before. That was the only memory. It's just listening to a story and then killing yourself because you couldn't stand it. <laughs> hmm. uh, you ready to get this thing off the ground? Ships all fueled and ready to go. Did I just die? Oh, bad dream or something? You look half asleep, but that's a negative of being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Mm. I got the launch codes right. Why are you... What? What? Oh, sorry. It's... I was like, why can't I move because you got my fucking face locked? Uh, it's the force I have, but as soon as you keep word of mouth, I'm like, assume the position. Uh, <laughs> fuck it. I need to sit on everything. That's fine. All right, buckle up. All right. <laughs> Hey, where are we going? First things first. Let's travel to the moon. Oh yeah, visit the compass. There's the moon. Hey, look, another ship uh, crashes into it. Now we're both stranded. <laughs> <laughs> like a glove. Yeah, it's fine. All right, unbuckle. We're good. 
I don't need a suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, where the fuck are we here? There it is. Oh, I've never seen this before. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I better go explore down here. The plant is singing! <laughs> <laughs> it's poison ivy! <laughs> oh, um... Um, okay, yeah, I was up, did. yeah, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and, uh, it can hear the following signals from the sun, uh, Giant's Deep and the Brutal Hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points in just one direction. This is a curious result. It's only po it's only possible if the eye has stopped calling out that signal. I see. Most likely they calibrate, uh, calibrated the... I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Uh, Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is uh, correctly calibrated after all. Collaborator. Yeah. <laughs> no, my! <mind>. Now me! <laughs> oh. What the oh. Uh. On. Saddens me pose it, but my friends and can't believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. We need to build a more sensitive device if we were to locate the eye in the universe. Uh, then we'll build it. And don't lose hope. Casanova. <laughs> Kasawa. Our search for the eye is what brought us, our clan, to this place. We won't give up so easily. Oh yeah, so when you walk ne next to the trees, it replenishes your oxygen. Oxygen. That kind of works out. Whoa, okay, wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it really is old. Uh, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point uh, can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, uh, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brutal Hollow. So I'll fly there and see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna g uh, get back to the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Uh oh. Oh, stars above! <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. You need that. So you can... Where, um... Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? Uh, it may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Uh, Anna. Uh, Anon Anona. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> no, my! <laughs> Naomi! <laughs> you mean you're forgetting to do it, right? Yeah. Um, Anona. Uh, and those of us originally stranded on I'm Amber Twin wrong. <laughs> built a quantum moon locator there. Um, built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made it its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building it on that planet. So they built a quantum moon locator on the other planet. Uh, the southern glacier of Brutal Hollow has ample available space, so I could construct a new building, a uh, new building to house the project locator, the proposed locator. Yes, let's build it there. I imagine our young friend uh, Con Conroy, Conroy, <laughs> Conroy would uh, enjoy that immensely. Uh, he's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I like how they have custom music playing in the background as you're going through the messages, because music sets up such a mood. Um, I will begin the construction of Brutal Hollow South Pole immediately then. And we already saw that one. Mm -hmm. eh, there's not really a need to take those scrolls with us. Nah. All right, there's no inventory either. You can only carry one thing at a time. It's true. All right. Ta da! Mm hmm. But wait. Crimson Raiders. It's brutal. Hello. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but what about this one? Move! You gotta be looking at them. It's home! Is it? I think it's pointing at the sun. 
It is. But what about this mysterious one over here? What could this possibly be? <gasps> do, 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 do. It doesn't know where to go. It doesn't know where to go. Oh no, what could this mean? <laughs> Tim is reaching atomic level sass right now. <laughs> what could this mean? So, um, the computer at the back of your ship gives you, uh, notes of everything you've discovered, and you can kind of plot your next, uh, next path, uh, based on, well, whatever clues you found. Don't fly into the sun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no. Uh, yeah. where are we going here? It's really, at this point, it's, like, up to you. We can go anywhere. It's true. Well, I don't want to go too, too far, though, because, uh... It actually doesn't matter. I thought we were on time limit. Um, well, it's, again, it's like one of those things where you slowly piece together the story. So from which end you piece it together doesn't really matter. Let's go here, then. Alright, what's this? What's this? Mm. It's the next episode! Hey! Thanks everybody for watching. Check out uh, our other content on RetroactiveGamers.com. <laughs> yeah, learn to work with the velocities now. I overpass my trajectory so often. <laughs> That's okay. It's... Yeah. It's a work in progress. Check out our tech Rise on Steam as well, our very own video game. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, this is Retroactive Gamers, signing off. <laughs>